something that I find it fascinating is how incredible you are at your age. And I want to be like you when I'm 60 years old, to be honest. How do you maintain this longevity throughout the years? How do you do it? I think it's, it's a little bit of everything. I don't think there's just one thing. I, I think that um, I approach my life through the lens of being the best animal that I can be. Mm -hmm. And I apply that in everything I do, uh, from diet to sleep to exercise to cross training. Uh, you know, a, a couple of things that uh, a couple of practices I hold uh, is that I never, never do something that you're doing right now. I'm sitting. sitting. <laughs> <laughs> you can probably tell I'm on my feet. Yes. Yeah. I mean, during the interview, I'm on my feet. I've been bouncing around. So uh, I encourage you and, and anyone else who's listening or watching this um, interview to a couple of days a week, uh, if, if you can, you know, if you're not driving anywhere or flying anywhere, from the moment you get out of bed until the moment you go back to bed at night, uh, don't sit down. Mm -hmm. Try this for a day and see how much better you feel. Mm -hmm. um, also, I'm constantly working out through the course of the day. So even before this interview, I did you know, a set of uh, push-ups, pull-ups, uh, burpees, and so forth. So I'm doing these little uh, micro bursts of cross training. And I think that helps. Um, the other thing is that uh, I don't eat anything in a bag, anything that's mm -hmm. refined or processed. So I like to tell people if I can't, you know, pick it from a tree or dig it from the earth or catch it with my hands, uh, I won't eat it. So try to avoid um, man-made foods. I mean, there's there's a saying, um, uh, you know, if, if it if it comes from a plant, eat it. If it's made in a plant, don't. 